Do you simply actually, can't assume that? Actually, yes, you can. Hard Talk on BBC World News. This is BBC News. I'm David Willis. Our top stories. One of the greatest footballers of all time, Pele, has died in Brazil at the age of 82. He won three World Cups for Brazil, a unique feat, and scored over a thousand goals during his career. Tributes from the world's top players, politicians and pundits have flooded in, describing Pelé as the magician, the inspiration and the greatest player of all time. We'll look at the legacy of the man who gave the world the beautiful game and did more than anyone else to shape modern football. Also ahead, Ukrainian officials say a fresh barrage of Russian missile strikes has inflicted significant damage to the national power grid. And the British fashion designer Vivian Westwood, a key figure in the rebellious punk movement of the 1970s, has died in London. Hello and welcome to BBC News. We begin with the news of the death of Pele, widely regarded as the greatest person ever to play what he himself described as the beautiful game. He passed away in hospital in Sao Paulo, surrounded by his family at the age of 82, having suffered from cancer. During his career, he became the first and, so far, the only player to win three World Cups, and he scored over a thousand goals. He spent almost all of his club career playing in his native Brazil, after the government declared him a national treasure and blocked moves overseas. But he was also a key part in the short-lived North American Soccer League, playing for the New York Cosmos. During his life, he was a charity fundraiser as well, a campaigner and a politician. Joe Wilson reports now on the life of a true sporting great. 